Lakeland College in Vermilion spent a lot of time this past summer building a new renewable energy research center. For this week's Green Living, Mike Baden will explain, explain rather how construction is coming and what the plans are moving forward. These are just a few of the projects students here are working on through the Environmental Science Program. The school has a long history of encouraging green initiatives, a reputation they continue to uphold. And so we keep looking at ways to to uh, minimize our, our impact on the environment. And so the college has programming that, that's, that's directed towards that and our research program as well. The current program is online and has 10 courses with students from all across the country enrolled. It prepares students for any green jobs they may want in the future. In, including uh, uh, solar and wind installations, uh, uh, maintenance sales related to that. And there's a big uh, uh, support industry including financing for projects where, uh, where managers need to know more about the technologies. Part of the program includes the energy cabin on campus which doesn't require electrical or heat sources for most of the year. What we have here is, uh, this is our original test site, which was a rather modest site where we have uh, wind and solar uh, energy systems, the, the energy cabin as we call it, and it's a complete off-grid uh, facility. The new Centre for Sustainable Innovation is currently under construction. It'll help students have a more hands-on learning experience. This facility will allow our students to, who are online to actually travel here and we'll run uh, sessions there for our students, but also for uh, uh, contractors and installers, electricians who are now working in the, in the solar industry. Uh, so we hope to uh, ramp up that kind of training when that facility becomes available. The new building is set to open in 2012. Mike Baden, New Cap News. This feature brought to you by Lakeland College Environmental Sciences. Prepare for your green career by completing one of the college's six environmental sciences programs. Lakeland College, live the learning. Thank you, Gerard. Local area farmers are welcoming that continued warm weather. Producers around Lloydminster are behind others in Alberta and Saskatchewan, and they're hoping to increase harvest productivity in the next week. Jessica Isaac has more on this week's crop report. September's warm weather has producers rushing to take off the crop. This spring's wet and cold seeding season has set many farmers behind, especially in the areas surrounding Lloydminster. In that margin country, there's probably about 80% of the crop is off. Over towards Wainwright, it's, it's closer to that 65% done. And then once you start going north, uh, it drops off to about 40, 45%. It's a different story on the other side of the border though. Producers in Saskatchewan, right around that Highway 16 area, are moving along much faster. It's, it's probably closer to 75-80% of the cereals, but still some canola out. Meadow Lake, however, is very, very, uh, well, it, it lags behind the rest of the area. They're probably only in around that 25-35% to 35 right now. Even though harvest progress is slow, crop conditions are optimal. The quality uh, is really good so far. There is some frost damage that's starting to show up on some of the cereals. Not that much yet. Uh, however, there is some ergot issues in that vermilion area where a lot of the grain will have to be cleaned before it, it makes export standards and stuff. Chapansky says as long as the weather holds out, the harvest should pick up speed. The next week looks awesome. Absolutely awesome for weather and I mean 26, 27 degrees is is going to move that ahead really, really rapidly. Jessica Isaac, New Cap News.